What's up everyone, this is Henry. In today's video, I want to do two rants about something that's been on my mind. First is about the food shortage and inflation and shrinkflation again. And second, I want to talk about just my generation in particular, but modern day Americans. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, um, yeah, I've been going to, to the store, well, stores, and... I've been seeing a lot of people slowly starting to panic buy all kinds of stuff like water, even canned goods, toilet paper, paper towels, and um, a lot of perishables as well. And um, it's it's not looking good, guys. Honestly, like I'm not the type of guy that's telling y'all to go out and panic buy, but I think you guys see what's going on. America is slowly burning and i think a lot of people was starting to see that and they are preparing for it and that's why people uh including me are you know starting to see um less and less and less food on the shelves so um guys honestly um the best time to prep and to get prepared is now I'm keep telling people to get prepared until this is somehow over with or everything goes back to normal. But I know normalcy is not going to be be back anytime soon if and like if ever. It's not coming back. People need to wake up and smell the coffee and get ready because it's going to be a cold winter. Biden did get this right. It's already getting cold now and Inflation is still going up. Cost of everything. Gasoline is insane. It's a dollar fifty here. This is like close to California's gas price. So this is Ohio. So nothing's going to decrease. It's going to keep on going up and up and up and up. Us average Joes and and below, like poor people, we can't afford. We won't be able to afford this food if it keeps going up and up and up and up. Only the rich. Will be able to afford the food. So the rich has been preparing and buying bunkers and getting ready because they got the money to do so. We don't have that type of well, we don't have the luxury to go out and buy bunkers and get a hundred thousand dollars worth of freeze dried food. We don't have that. What we do have is time, but time is running out. Trust me, it's running out, guys. It's not looking good. It's all kinds of stuff going on. Um, the whole uh, vaccine mandate. People are starting to revolt. Um, everywhere. That's not That's not just here. It's everywhere. Especially in New York City for some reason. Well, I mean, rightfully so. But, you know, they're a, a liberal city. And I thought they liked more government. But apparently they, they love the freedom more. So, rightfully so. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, guys. Um. That's the end of this rants about the whole food thing. So next, I want to talk about is uh, uh, something that me and my old man was talking about earlier today. He's seventy. Um, we was talking about the government. You know, basically, they like we gonna be like China within 20, 20 to thirty years, if if that, if we don't do do anything about it. Like us modern day Americans. Or scared of the government like no one's doing anything to fight back protesting it's it's not going to do anything i'm sorry it's not going to do anything we are we're way past that point my dad you know he said none of this would have ever happened back in the day and yes none of this wouldn't have happened they they uh waited uh gen generations to brainwash us like what they're doing to divide us like what they done and to pamper us into submission. That's what I said to him. And he said that no one would ever submit to the government back in the day. And that's true. Like the, the last best generations is his generation and in, in, uh, down, down the line. And people are just not doing anything. And we're not using all of our rights. I think you guys know what right I'm talking about. We may have all these flashy guns and stuff and whatnot, 
that's not what they're there for. They're there for, I know you guys know what they're there for, but a lot of people isn't getting that in the head. And y'all saying, and then there's people who are going to be like, what are you doing? I'm spreading the message and I'm going to use it. I'm using my platform. And I know YouTube don't like some of the stuff that people like us talk about, but so be it. That's our First Amendment, right? We could talk about we what we want when it comes to our government and the failures that they've been been causing on we the people. So guys, like I said, get ready, man, because I already know something's going to happen. You got stuff with China. You got just all kinds of stuff, guys. Like if you watch the news, not the fake news, but if you go to YouTube channels like mine or other YouTube ch uh, uh, news channels. I think you guys know what's going on, and uh, yeah, it's just not good. And I still have hopes for this country. I honestly do, but um, it's 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 going down uh, down downhill, and and it's going to continue to go downhill if we don't if we the people don't do anything about it. So that's all I wanted to to say there, guys. I I don't want to talk my ass off, but I guess I, I think you guys know what i'm talking about but um yeah guys um if you enjoyed the video please smack that like button i appreciate it i appreciate all every one of you guys uh make sure you share the video when you share the video it gets out to other people obviously and also um if you are interested uh if you want to support the channel uh go uh check out my description below so, uh go check out my social medias uh, I also have a Amazon affiliate uh, links down below. I'm pretty sure if you just click on one of the links and just order anything from Amazon, I'll get a little bit of kickback for the channel. I would really appreciate it. But yeah, guys, um, yeah, it's just these are bad times. These are bad times. Like also, you know, the, the, our dollar is declining and we're look like. We're looking at seeing a Great Depression 2.0 pretty soon. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. And um, I hope you guys stay safe. Be aware of your surroundings. Get prepared. Uh, carry a gun. And as always, have a nice day.